Hey everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Victoria Knox knife. Just grab the product here, so you can see from the box we have the Super Tinker. And I picked this one up very recently from Amazon.co.uk here in the UK for an absolute storming deal. It paid £22, I believe it was, and a, and a couple of bits of change. But you can see from that you get this really nice packaging. It comes in the, the sort of the, the clamshell cardboard packaging here. You can see it has the 14 functions and the original Swiss Army knife. So we'll take a look at the back and I'll go through what those functions are. So there is a picture of the knife and it does sort of number correspond, <coughs> excuse me, to what the functions are. And you can see here is the Super Tinker and that is model 1.4703.B1. So the functions we've got here, we have the large pen blade at number one. We have the small blade at number two, the Phillips screwdriver at number three, the can opener, which is, uh, where are we, can opener up here, which also has the small screwdriver, which is on the top, number five. And then we have number six, which also is seven and eight as well, which is the cap lifter, the flathead screwdriver and the wire stripper. Number 10, they're counting the key ring as a tool, something they do on all Swiss Army knives, ones that have a key ring anyway. And uh, then we have number 11, which is the tweezers. 12 is the toothpick, same but the other on the reverse side scales. And then we have the scissors at number 13 and the multi-purpose hook at number 14. So a good selection of tools there. And I'll go through all the tools sort of on the knife itself and then why this is different from the Tinker itself, because this is the Super Tinker. Overall, nice sort of packaging from, from the Swiss Army knife from Victoria Knox. Do really like these clamshells, not too difficult to get in and out of. I just use um, a sort of a nice clean blade and just cut around the packaging there. So here it is, the Super Tinker, and you can see it's in the red Celador scales with the silver Victoria Knox logo on the top there really nice and clean and believe it or not this is actually the first red cellar door victorian ox that i've ever sort of purchased brand new a lot of my swiss army knives have come from dan over at blade bridge and he sort of gets in secondhand ones and sort of cleans them up and then he sells them on and i've got a load from there all my alox ones have been sort of brand new but anyway on with the tools of this so we'll go through the layers at the start so on the very front layer you have the tin opener or can opener with the small flathead screwdriver and really nice snap on that one. You have on the left hand side the cap lifter, flathead screwdriver and the wire stripper and again excellent snap on that as well. And then we have the scissors in the middle and these are the large Victorinox scissors <clears throat> pretty much an excellent tool to have on a Victorian Ox knife. Probably the most used tool on all of mine would be the scissors. It's something that you can get out in public and it's just really unoffensive. And I mean, if you pull this out, it's a Victorian Ox. Everyone knows that, even non-knife people know that. So you're not going to have an issue with that at all. And it's all that really nice spring on the scissors there. They snap back every single time. Perfect tool. And then on the final layer, you do have that big sort of spear blade about five and a half five five and a half pull to open and then a nice snap in the open sort of a classic pen bl uh, spear blade there from victorian ox you can see you do have victorian ox swiss made stainless on the tang stamp just there <clears throat> and we'll take a look at the grind see that that really nice even grind and then on the back again really even grind as well and you see on the back of the tang stamp there they have officer swiss although it's quite a light pull you'd be surprised at how much force it does take to sort of break that spring you'd have a lot of confidence using this in hand there is a i do have to put quite a bit of force to get that to break the spring so i wouldn't have any worries at all about using this as a sort of a work knife or you know put in your camping bag things like that Nice snap on the close as well. And then the final tool on the back, on the front side of the knife, is this nice small pen blade. Again, decent amount of force to get that to close. 
really nice grind on this as well excellent bit of kit this is and then a nice snap as well on the clothes and then we have the tools on the scales which you have on the front side you have the tweezers perfect for getting that sort of small splinters picking up small parts if maybe if you're working on a watch or you're working with small screws or a modern knife perfect for that sort of thing you have your toothpick there the keyring of course there and then on the back you have the reamer with the sewing eye and that really sort of nice sharp edge and a nice point on that as well you have the parcel hook and then you have instead of the corkscrew you have the phillips head screwdriver something i like to have on all my swiss army knives i really prefer to have this over the corkscrew and as well there you have the pin just in the scales there if i pull that out i bet you'll be able to see it so what makes this different to the tinker itself well the tinker only has two layers and that what makes it the, the thing the super tinker is they added a layer and on that layer you get the scissors and the parcel hook on the back minor sort of changes but i do think this is probably the best urban edc swiss army knife it's a nice sort of slender design it's three layers which is for me it's sort of the max you want to be carrying on like a day-to-day -day basis maybe you're going to the office or you're putting it in your work bag things like that or you're carrying it in your pocket it's not too chunky and you know it's a really unoffensive design i am a massive fan of swiss army knives as you'll know i do have quite a reasonable collection i've just done an overview but as you can see it's already expanded and it's just something i can't help at the moment is picking up another one of these especially for such a great deal this was so there we go guys that's my overview of the victorinox super tinker fantastic piece of kit if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications i uh, really hope you did enjoy this peace out